Hey guys, welcome back. So, a while ago, a couple videos ago, I did all my double pressure plates and buttons and stuff for my double doors. Um, and I thought I got them working pretty good. Um, but I was told that you could actually make them more compact. And I didn't really believe it at first because I'd worked at a couple things, but I was actually proved right, or proved wrong. Um, Dr. Dallas, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, gave me a couple photos of how he did it, and this is pretty ingenious, I love this. Um, and so I built it, and he gave me permission to put this in a video, so you guys should definitely check him out. He, he's a pretty good redstone guy, he's a genius. Um, so basically it's the same th premise where you put the line of redstone right underneath the pressure plates, and then it comes down, um, down one over here, drops down one block, and then you put a repeater one block even below this redstone line. So this redstone line is going to power this repeater because it's above it. It's, um, and then this repeater is actually going to feed this torch, which can turn it on or off because it's below the torch. It's the only way you can turn torches on or off is if you come in like one block below. Um, and then from the other side, um, you see, once again, you have the two pressure plates with the line of redstone. And it comes over, drops down one. And then you just drop in one line that goes uh, into this torch once again, just turns it, in, turns it on or off. And I believe this repeater is just for timing reasons. Um, but the cool thing about this design to get, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but one of these doors when you press them this close together is always going to be open automatically. So you have to invert it somehow. And what's great about this design is he did it right underneath the doors. Instead of having these two torches or a line of redstone or whatever, he put two torches, but one's at this angle with this block powering it. So it's automatically inverting this torch, which, fix, which fixes this door. So it create or it fixes a lot of problems that I had over here that I had to go way far out to fix. And he basically just took this entire design right here and compacted it. He just put it all in together in one little tiny two block package. So which was pretty genius. And the other side's pretty easy. You have a repeater coming on each side once again for timing reasons. Oops, what happened? Yeah. Um, coming in each side, and then you put a block over this redstone, which makes it this cross hatch pattern, which makes it power this torch over here. Um, the timing works great and everything, so I really like this design. I've now used it in a couple of my uh, buildings and stuff that I've made. Um, the closing, apparently, I just noticed that actually, one door is slightly off, but I you could probably fix that with the. Uh, repeaters over here, but I personally don't mind that much. It doesn't bother me. But you guys can play along play around play around with that. See how you like it. So thanks for watching guys. See ya.